Hey guys, what's up? It is the end of the day and I wanna go home and film a video you guys have been asking for about uh, different cruelty-free sunscreens that I would recommend and kind of reviewing them. Uh, but before I do that, I'm running over to Whole Foods because one of the sunscreens that I love, I am out of and I wanna show it to you guys. Um, so I'm gonna repurchase it there. And then the other reason I'm going into Whole Foods is I um, have been shopping with this drop app for the past uh, several weeks and really loving it. it. If you're not familiar, it's an app where you can um, redeem, you can get points for purchases that you make in store or online. And then you can redeem those points for gift cards. Uh, so you can shop like Trader Joe's, Target, Bath and Body Works, they have a ton of stores on there. And it's automatic that you get the points back, which is awesome, and then you can redeem them for, for gift cards. So I'll explain a little bit more about that later, but I've really been loving it. So I'm going into Whole Foods, and in purchasing this, I will get some points. Hopefully it's not um, super crowded today. The Sun Shield Unscented SPF 28 is the one I'm gonna pick up here. Hello, I racked up uh, 100 points uh, just on uh, breakfast the other day, 12.57. I'm back. And I also picked up some Watermelon Natural Calm and Whole Foods. It's currently on sale. This is really good. It's a seasonal flavor they come out with in the summertime. And so I got my hands on that. Um, anyways, I've got a bag here of my favorites. This is a, speaking of Whole Foods, this is a Whole Foods reusable bag that a viewer from Hawaii sent me. Isn't it pretty? Yeah, using the Drop app is pretty easy. You just, um, here, I'll just open it up for you guys. And you can see here on this page called My Offers, I have listed Bath and Body Works in case I run in there and get some candles when they have their sale. Whole Foods, because I go there weekly. Walgreens, I shop there a fair amount, and Target and Trader Joe's. And then you can also shop online like Barnes & Noble, Paula's Choice, and Ulta, even Sephora, and Apple. And then you can trade in your points once you accumulate them for various gift cards like movie theaters, uh, different restaurants, Sephora, <laughs> Barnes and Noble, that's a good one. Nordstrom, also a great one. Um, they, they have a lot of a lot of wonderful ones. Of course, Whole Foods and Starbucks, Amazon. Yeah, and then to keep track of your points, you just click points and you can see, look, uh, I spent uh, 2918 at Trader Joe's and I got 204 points and then the other day I went into Whole Foods and spent uh, 1257 and got 100 points. So I actually partnered with Drop this week and we'll be doing a giveaway through the app to my viewers and subscribers. And the giveaway is for an assortment of gift cards ranging anywhere from $5 to $25. And it's really easy to enter. All you have to do is click the link in the description box and sign up for the app. And when you go into the app to sign up, you just put in my code. And then after you link your credit or debit card through the app, then you'll be entered to win the giveaway. And it is will be randomly selected to 100 of you. So 100 winners. So yeah, it's a great way to get more gift cards to places that you're already spending money on. Uh, so comment below on if you win where you would use the where you would use the gift card money towards, but a lot of the sunscreens in this video, you could use a gift card to purchase uh, or towards the purchase of, so that's awesome. One of my absolute favorite cruelty-free sunscreen brands that you can buy on Amazon or you can buy through their site is the brand Dermatology, D-R-M-T-L-G-Y. And not only do they sell sunscreens, but they also have a variety of skincare products. They have a wonderful lactic acid lotion that's wonderful for keratosis pilaris. But anyways, uh, sunscreen wise, they have an active sunscreen that is uh, zinc and titanium dioxide, water resistant, uh, this is chemical free, cruelty free. Because it is zinc and titanium dioxide only, as far as the ingredients, that protect uh, against sunburn and UV damage. 
This uh, is technically, I believe, coral reef safe, um, or you would consider coral reef friendly. Fragrance free, oil free. This is a great choice for being outdoors for a prolonged period of time. It's sweat resistant, water resistant, and will give you really good broad spectrum coverage. It does leave a white cast. Probably, if you're not familiar, I have a cast rating. One is like, I put it on my skin, and from a distance you can't tell it's on but up close you can kind of see a little bit of a sheer white, um, whereas a five is like a full on like white, white paste on my face. Um, and so this is kind of a two to three, I would say. So somewhere in the middle, it will leave a cast on your skin. It is mineral only, but it's very nicely formulated and fragrance free, great for rosacea prone skin, sensitive skin, dry skin. Um, it does have, it is a little bit shiny, so that's the active sunscreen. It's mineral only, so you can feel okay about using it in the ocean. It is coral reef friendly. The two that I currently wear a lot and love um, and do have some chemical filters in them are the Broad Spectrum SPF 45 sunscreens. They have a um, regular and a tinted. And I'm actually currently wearing both. I have the regular one as a base layer and then I have the tinted one on over it. So these are combination sunscreens. That means they have zinc as an ingredient that is a physical sunscreen ingredient. And then they have some chemical filters as well for additional UV protection. So you, this would not be a good choice for those of you going into the ocean who want to, who want to minimize um, potential damage to the reefs. Uh, but it's fragrance free. It is, um, again, cruelty free like all of these. And really a nice vehicle, very moisturizing, not greasy, but not too matte. You know, sometimes sunscreens can be so matte that it feels really tight and really drying on your face. This isn't that way at all. And it doesn't go on super streaky whatsoever. A lot of tinted mineral sunscreens can, can be kind of streaky. This does not do that. As far as the cast, there is a cast with this. Uh, it's less than the active, but it's about a one and a half to two. So it is noticeable and it's more noticeable on me. Sometimes on camera, it gives a little bit of a flash. I've noticed, uh, so if you have a darker skin type, you might find issue with that. But I do really, would, I would, would really encourage you to at least consider the tinted one because the tinted one has less of it, less of a white cast to it. It's closer to a one than a 1.5 and it has iron oxides in it, which are an inactive ingredient in sunscreens that can offer even more protection against broader wavelengths of UV light that contribute to hyperpigmentation. Broader wavelengths of UV light as well as visible light into the blue, blue light wavelengths. Um, so for people with darker skin type who, skin types who are more prone to hyperpigmentation, choosing tinted sunscreens is, is a really good way to go. For that reason, the iron oxides is what is in the tint that, that, um, that makes it tinted, but also offers a little bit extra. All right, so here's a product that I get questions about all the time, and this is a great choice for babies, kids, anybody, but, Fair warning, the cast is substantial. And it is the um, Think Baby SPF 50 sunscreen. This sunscreen is coral reef friendly. It is zinc only, it is non-nano size zinc. So whenever you see non-nano size zinc, know you're getting really awesome UV protection, UVA one, UVA two, and UVB, but know that it's gonna come with a cast. And this is pretty casty. So, um, you know, know that going in, it's not, gonna be, it's not gonna be something that people with darker skin types are going to care to wear. <laughs> uh, and, you know, most people won't. It's a good choice though, I say for children and for babies because children, babies, their skin barrier is still developing and is immature. They're more prone to irritation. Uh, and chemical sunscreen ingredients, while safe, can be irritating. And so on baby skin, that is more likely. So it's advised to choose a mineral sunscreen. And choosing a non-nano zinc sunscreen is a really good choice for children and babies because they get really good broad spectrum coverage and it's less irritating. And this one is fragrance free. All right, but from the UK, you guys know, I'm gonna say the Altruist SPF 50. You guys, there's no reason not to buy this if you live in the UK. It is a fantastic sunscreen. A portion of the proceeds go to a phenomenal charity under the same sun, 
which uh, supports services for individuals suffering from albinism, are uh, afflicted with albinism. It is great, uh, great brand, very affordable. For those of you in the US, you can buy it on Amazon UK. It's still pretty affordable, although you have to pay the duties and shipping, so it can get a little on the pricier side, but I encourage you to give it a try. No cast associated with this. This is the SPF 50. The SPF 50 does have some shininess to it. It can look uh, on the greasy side. So if you are oily prone skin, you might not care for this, but it's otherwise, you know, it's fragrance free. It's not gonna break you out. Uh, it, is, it is wonderful. Excellent filters, great for sensitive skin. And there's no alcohol denaturant in this product. So if you have rosacea or sensitive skin and you find that alcohol denaturant in chemical sunscreen stings, burns, irritates, then give this one a try. You might like it. My favorite uh, Korean brand uh, that you can buy here in the United States that has wonderful chemical filters is the Beat Shield. This is Crave Beauty's sunscreen. In the United States, it can't call itself a sunscreen because it uses filters that are not approved for inclusion in sunscreen here. So it can't make claims to protect you against a burn, but this is fantastic. It has, uh, it's very moisturizing, but it, it's matte. It's wonderful under cosmetics. It has being um, like a face primer, zero cast. And while this has alcohol in it, uh, the alcohol is added to stabilize those great filters and to solubilize them. It is not drying or irritating whatsoever, uh, but alcohol can, you know, cause pro cause issue for people with sensitive skin or rosacea. So know that going in, but this is great. It sells out really fast on their site. Um, at the time of this video, it's currently sold out. At the time I'm filming this, it's currently sold out, but maybe by the time it goes up, it'll be back on the site, but keep checking in. This is, this is a great one, cruelty-free and vegan as well. So recommend that. All right, and then a sunscreen I've recommended in other videos that I love is the Alba Botanica Sensitive Mineral Sunscreen. There is definitely a three and a half cast with this. Um, it's SPF 30, water resistant, uh, mineral only. So this, this is coral reef friendly. Um, in the description box, I will list all these and I'll put some little notations about them. If they're vegan, um, if they are coral reef friendly, um, if they have alcohol in them, alcohol denaturant, if they're chemical, mineral. So I will put that, those kind of details in the description box for you guys. All right, a chemical sunscreen that I have recently found and am really enjoying, that's very affordable. Uh, speaking of those gift cards, Trader Joe's, you could totally use that for this. This is a Trader Joe's Face and Body Sunscreen Lotion, SPF 30. It's water resistant up to 80 minutes. This is a chemical sunscreen, which means zero cast, but it has the potential to be irritating to people and it would give you pause in terms of coral reef safety. So, uh, but this one's fantastic. It's great for oily prone skin. It's not greasy, it's not shiny. And if you are somebody with rosacea who finds you can tolerate chemical sunscreens, consider this one. I know a lot of people do okay with this one. It's really good and um, I love it. It's also, like it's marketed, great for the body. If you have acne on the body, this is a good sunscreen to consider for everyday use on your body to protect the acne as it's healing uh, and prevent post-inflammatory or make post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation less likely. All right, coming back to the reef, one that I really love is the Badger Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Non-Nano Zinc. This is very coral reef friendly. This one does not have coconut oil in it. Many of them, in an effort to be more environmentally friendly, use coconut oil, which is biodegradable. Coconut oil, I have a video on, is, is good for people with eczema, but is not good for people with acne prone skin. It can lead to breakouts. It does not have coconut oil, instead it has sunflower seed oil in it, which is, um, which is really more skin friendly than coconut oil and less risky. So I recommend that water resistant um, 40 minutes. This is a wonderful one. Uh, give a consideration to Jack Black's oil free sun guard. This is fragrance free and it's a combination sunscreen. So less of a cast. This is a one cast on me. Um, so um, again, I'll put the cast rating down below in the description box, but consider this one fragrance free and really um, comfortable to wear, oil-free. This is great for people with acne-prone skin. All right, I get a lot of questions about Sun Balm, and Sun Balm 
has an SPF 50 chemical sunscreen that I really love. It's water resistant up to 80 minutes, higher SPF than Trader Joe's. Um, so you get more, you get better UV protection with this. Fragrance free, lightweight, oil free. This is a wonderful choice for people with acne prone, oily skin that are looking for a cast free sunscreen. It is chemical. So what that means is that if you are concerned about the reefs, this is not a good choice for you. They do have a mineral only sunscreen that is fragrance free and does have a three to four cast, in my opinion, on my skin, um, which is a good choice, more coral reef friendly than this one. All right, and then two more that I really enjoy. Um, first up is the Babo Baby Mineral Sunscreen. Um, this is one that does have coconut oil in it. So if you are acne prone, then, you know, be aware of that. You might want to avoid it, but I love this. It's fragrance free and it has such a wonderful cast on it. I have it in here. They also make a stick version um, and sticks are really handy on babies for their hands and whatnot. But do be aware that when you, when you use sticks, there are skip areas. So that's an issue with using the sticks, but both of them are good. Um, and both of them are great choices for babies, great choices for kids because they are mineral only and they are, they are um, coral reef friendly. So I recommend those. All right, and then last up is the My Shell Sun Shield SPF 28 that I just purchased. This one is mineral only, so a coral reef friendly. It's zinc titanium dioxide and it's vegan and cruelty free and it is it's not water resistant so this is kind of a good everyday facial moisturizer for people with either dry skin or combination skin personally i don't find that it's greasy either and this one does not have coconut oil in it So you can, so yeah, you can see here versus here. That's a pretty good cast, right? Um, so I, I think that's a good one. It's only SPF 28 though. So this is not one that you would want to rely on if you're going to be outdoors for a long, prolonged period of time, but it is a good everyday day-to-day -day moisturizer. And again, cruelty-free and vegan. We're starting to lose some light here. So yeah, those are some of my favorite cruelty-free sunscreens, both mineral and chemical many of which are vegan. I will put in the description box some of the details, like I said, as far as if they are vegan or cruelty-free, water resistant, and that sort of thing. So check the description box and don't forget to enter the giveaway. It's a really good chance to win a gift card that you could use towards the purchase of one of these sunscreens. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.